We want to do things right. We're not a perfect company. We don't do everything right, but we strive to do that. I think our 300 plus employees and our existing infrastructure history here shows that. So we look forward to continuing the dialogue this evening and in subsequent meetings at the end of the day, showing to the state of Georgia and to the people of Georgia that we have a project that is good for Georgia. Thank you. I mean, Kenda Morgan is the biggest, the most money, with the best lawyers, the best PR, anything the landowners do alone or as a group would never be able to combat the money that they're spending in PR and their spin. I mean, they have you thinking that they're the best thing since sliced bread, not so. I have to realize that a pipeline that, that pumps gasoline or any petroleum product, usually from the area of Texas up to New England, with many spurs, of course, in different uh, directions from that, is under high pressure. You have to know that gasoline, its constituents, some of them are known carcinogens, uh, most of them are highly toxic, and that what's in the pipe is an immediate danger to people and environment if it gets out of the pipe. In, in my business, overall, the bigger concerns were not the abrupt break of, of something with one quantity coming out in a, in a matter of hours or days. It was actually the small, insignificant release of something over a much longer period of time. All pipelines leak at some point. You know, that's just, they do. If you have a, a um, usually the, for leak detection, you know, they know by the change in flow, but a small leak would not show up and, you know, and the change in flow is just too small. Uh, places where they monitor for leaks, they put groundwater wells in a perimeter around a, a storage tank, for example. So if there's a leak and you take monthly or weekly water samples from wells surrounding that, it's, it's easily detected before it traces too, goes too far. But you're not going to do that along the pipeline. They're not going to put monitoring wells parallel to the, to the system. We're coming to take your land, but we're not going to tell you where the maps are. We want to show, and it's a necessity, you guys need this, but we're not going to tell you who we're selling to. We're not going to tell you how long we're selling to us. Just believe us. It's okay. We know what's best for you. Kendall Morgan, when they first approached me, um, they wanted to survey and I told them that I wasn't interested and they basically told me they couldn't, I couldn't stop it. It was Kendall Morgan. They were a huge company and they would, they would take the land in the end and they'd do what they wanted to do because who they were, Kendall Morgan. Probably the most important is the property rights issue, uh, that a private for-profit company can be able to take a land by eminent domain. Um, that is very uh, hurtful for our family. The, the land has been in our family since 1887. What's to keep a Kroger, a CVS? You know, if, if we get, get to this point and we start allowing private companies to prove a necessity or a need for their product and they're able to utilize eminent domain to further their business, I mean, where does it stop? I mean, currently, this is limited to energy companies, but once you open that can of worms, who's not to say that other people don't come along and say, hey, if it's good for them, it's gotta be good for us, and once you get it into courts, who knows how it's gonna go.